Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Golf Luxury. Number 8. Broken Rule Playing the ball as it lays. There are a number of lie rules in golf. It can get rather tricky to get your head around. The pros will be able to dictate them to you. But chances are, if you're a social player, you're not going to have the foggiest. You're most likely breaking them without even realizing it. The rule is that you can't improve your lie. The ball must be played as it lies. So for example, you can't pick the ball out of the sand. You can't tee a ball up when you're in the rough. And you can't move it away from an obstruction into a preferred position. Position. Number 7. Broken Etiquette No phones. In today's day and age, this one might be hard to keep. It's tough not to have your phone on you regardless of what you're doing. We're in the age of technology. People are glued to their phones all day. It's hard for people to manage to turn it off and lock it away somewhere for a few hours. But that's what you're meant to do when playing a round of golf. Sure, nowadays many people use golf as another way of having a leisurely business meeting. But even so, getting your phone out is against golfing etiquette. When you're on the course, focus on the game and the game alone. Number 6. Broken Rule Can't clear a path for the ball Occasionally, you're going to find yourself in some rough or in a hazard. You may still be able to play a shot even though it may not look pretty. There may be something, an immovable object that may be blocking the shot you want to play. Actually, whether it's immovable or not is irrelevant. The rules of the game dictate that you can't move this object. Even if it's something as small as a branch or even a twig, that's in your line and may hamper your shot. You can't move it. You absolutely cannot clear a path for the ball. Number 5. Broken Etiquette When possible, help players out. This is different from not giving out or asking for advice that you're not meant to do, but you can still help your fellow players in other ways, and you should if you can. It's just about being attentive and reading the situation. For example, when they play their shot, you might be thinking of your next shot, but you can still be a spotter for them. When it comes to lost balls, help them look. If you see a provisional ball that needs picking up, do so. Etiquette balls help them look. If you see a provisional ball that needs picking up, do so. Etiquette also involves congratulating players if they've reached a nice hole or have made a good shot. Number 4. Broken Rule Reteeing A lot of people get this one wrong. You see it all the time on courses around the world. If a sudden gust of wind blows the ball off the tee, people tend to make a fuss, invent some sort of rules, or incur penalty strokes. That's only the case if you yourself are responsible for making the ball fall off the tee. For example, if you hash your shot, you can't just re-tee. You have to play the ball as it lies. This isn't the case if your ball just falls off the tee. In this situation, you can just re-tee. Number 3. Broken Etiquette Carefully lay the flag stick down. Some of you might think that there are conflicting rules in golf. On the one hand, you're not meant to ask for or dish out on any advice. But then you have to use your common sense when it comes to helping players. You shouldn't stand in the player's line of sight. But when it comes to putting, you can stand by the flag and get ready to remove it. When you do, don't just chuck it to the ground. You're supposed to carefully lay the flag stick down. Any little movement could result in the line of the ball changing and consequently a missed putt. Number 2. Broken Rule Grounding the club in a bunker You probably noticed when you watch the pros that they practice their shot again and again before they actually play the ball. You probably do so too when out on the course. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But you mustn't touch the floor when you do so. You can when you're on the green, but not when you're in a hazard. When you're in the bunker, you can't disturb the sand during your practice shot. You have to play an air shot. In match play, if you're in the bunker and you touch the sand during your practice shot, the penalty is severe. It's actually the loss of a hole. Number 1. Broken Etiquette Not showing up early for tea time this does the heads in, of course, organizers and those who queue up for tea times. A lot of people are guilty of not showing up on time for all sorts of things in life. We lead hectic lives and sometimes we don't keep to our schedule. You can't or shouldn't do that when teeing off at a golf course. In fact, it's not just about showing up on time. You should really show up early. Not turning up early or at the very least on time means you're potentially going to delay everyone later than you on the tea sheet.
This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.